Bonjour, and welcome to the channel. Today, we're whisking you away to the heart of France, to a region brimming with more royal history and fairy tale castles than you can shake a baguette at. That's right, folks. We're talking about the Centre Val de Loire. Picture this sun-drenched vineyards, charming villages straight out of a storybook, and those majestic chateaux, each whispering tales of kings, queens, and centuries past. Whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or just someone who appreciates the finer things in life, this region will absolutely enchant you. So buckle up, grab your beret, optional but encouraged, and get ready to explore the magic of the Loire Valley. And hey, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel tips and inspiration. All right, before we dive into the castles and vineyards, Let's get our bearings. Where exactly is this magical Centre Val de Loire region? It's right in the middle, like a delicious filling of history, culture and natural beauty. Nestled along the majestic Loire River, the longest river in France, kings and nobles built magnificent chateaux, transforming the region into a playground for the elite. From bustling cities to peaceful countryside, the region offers a delightful blend of old and new, Who are the lucky folks who call this enchanting region home? The Centre Val de Loire is home to around two and a half million people, a delightful mix of city dwellers and country folk. These people are as diverse as the region itself. You'll find artists, winemakers, farmers, historians and entrepreneurs. Imagine strolling through a bustling market in Orléans, the region's vibrant capital, or chatting with a winemaker in Vouvray sharing a glass of his crisp white wine. These are the experiences that await you in the Centre Val de Loire. Now let's talk weather, shall we? After all, you want to make sure you pack the right clothes for your grand adventure in the Centre Val de Loire. The good news is, this region boasts a wonderfully temperate climate, making it a joy to visit year-round. Think mild, wet winters, perfect for cozying up in a charming countryside inn with a glass of local red wine, and warm, sunny summers ideal for exploring those magnificent castles and sprawling gardens. But hold on, before you pack those shorts and sandals, remember that even in summer, the evenings can get a bit chilly, especially along the river. So be sure to pack a light jacket or sweater, just in case. Spring bursts forth in a riot of color, with wildflowers blanketing the vineyards and the scent of blossoms filling the air. Autumn paints the vineyards in hues of gold, crimson and russet, transforming the landscape into a breathtaking masterpiece. Chapter 4 Parlez-vous Francais? Now let's chat about something crucial for any traveller language. The official language of the Centre Val de Loire, and of course all of France, is French, but don't let that intimidate you, even if your French is a little rusty. Remember, a smile and a friendly bonjour go a long way. Most people in the tourist industry speak at least some English, especially in the bigger cities and popular tourist spots. But, and here's a little travel tip from a seasoned explorer, learning a few basic French phrases can greatly enhance your experience. Not only will it make navigating everyday situations a breeze, but it also shows the locals that you're making an effort and they really appreciate that. Imagine this, you're in a bustling market and you want to ask about the local cheese. Instead of pointing and gesturing, you confidently say, excuse moi, quelle est la spécialité locale? Excuse me, what's the local specialty? The cheesemonger's face lights up, impressed by your effort, and you end up having a delightful conversation about the region's culinary treasures. Chapter 5, Orléans, your royal rendezvous. Every great adventure needs a starting point, wouldn't you agree? And for your exploration of the Centre Val de Loire, the city of Orléans is the perfect launch pad. Orléans, the historical capital of the region, is a captivating blend of ancient history and modern energy. As you wander through its charming streets, you'll stumble upon architectural gems, each whispering tales of a rich and often tumultuous past. This city has seen it all, folks, from Roman rule to the Hundred Years' War, and through it all it has emerged as a beacon of French resilience and spirit. And speaking of the Hundred Years' War, you can't talk about Orléans without mentioning the legendary Joan of Arc. 
This courageous young woman, who led the French army to victory against the English, is practically a patron saint here. You'll find statues and memorials dedicated to her throughout the city, a testament to her enduring legacy. But Orléans isn't stuck in the past. Today, it's a vibrant university town, buzzing with youthful energy and a thriving cultural scene. Explore its lively squares, browse the boutiques and art galleries, or savour a leisurely lunch at a sidewalk cafe watching the world go by. Chapter 6 Beyond the Chateau, The Heartbeat of the Loire. Now, let's be honest, the magnificent chateau are a major draw for many visitors to the centre Val de Loire, and rightfully so. But this region is so much more than just stunning castles. It's a place where life is celebrated in its simplest forms, where traditions run deep, and where the connection to the land is palpable. One of the things that makes this region so special is its diverse economy. While tourism plays a big role, agriculture, particularly wine production, is the beating heart of the Centre Val de Loire. Imagine this, rolling hills carpeted with vineyards stretching as far as the eye can see, the air thick with the aroma of grapes ripening under the warm sun. This, my friends, is the essence of the Loire Valley, a region where wine is more than just a beverage, it's a way of life. From the world-renowned Sancerre and Puyli Fume wines to the lesser-known but equally delicious Vouvray and Chignon, the Loire Valley boasts an incredible variety of wines, each with its own unique character. Now, let's talk practicalities, shall we? Like any trip abroad, it's essential to be prepared for the local currency. In the centre Val de Loire and throughout France, the official currency is the Euro you'll find that most places, especially in larger cities and tourist areas, readily accept credit cards. However, it's always a good idea to have some cash on hand for smaller purchases, markets, and those charming little cafes that might not accept plastic. Now, when it comes to exchanging your money, you have a few options. You can exchange currency before you leave home, upon arrival at the airport, or at various exchange bureaus throughout the region. However, keep in mind that exchange rates can fluctuate and you might not always get the best deal. Another option is to withdraw euros directly from ATMs, which are widely available throughout the region. This is often a convenient and cost-effective way to get local currency, but be sure to check with your bank about any foreign transaction fees they might charge. Now let's dive into something that truly sets the Centre Val de Loire apart its rich tapestry of traditions. This is a region where history isn't just confined to museums and castles, it's woven into the very fabric of everyday life. From time-honored festivals that have been celebrated for centuries to unique customs and crafts passed down through generations, the Centre Val de Loire offers a glimpse into the soul of France. Imagine this, you're strolling through a charming village and you stumble upon a group of artisans demonstrating the ancient art of glass blowing. The air crackles with heat from the furnace. The molten glass glows like liquid fire. And with each deft movement, the artisan transforms it into delicate works of art. Or picture yourself at a local market where vendors proudly display their wares, handmade pottery, intricate lacework, regional delicacies, each piece imbued with the history and traditions of the region. These are the experiences that stay with you long after you've left the Centre Val de Loire, the moments that connect you to the heart and soul of the region. Speaking of celebrations, let's talk about the Centre Val de Loire's vibrant festival scene. This is a region that knows how to throw a party, and throughout the year you'll find festivals celebrating everything under the sun, or rather, under the glorious Loire Valley sky. Whether you're a foodie, a music lover, a history buff, or simply someone who enjoys a good time, there's a festival in the Centre Val de Loire with your name on it. Wine lovers rejoice. The Loire Valley is renowned for its vineyards, and naturally there are festivals galore dedicated to the fruit of the vine. From grand wine fairs showcasing the region's finest vintages to intimate harvest festivals where you can stomp grapes alongside local winemakers, these events are a bacchanalian dream come true. But it's not all about the grape, folks. The Centre Val de Loire also celebrates its culinary heritage with gusto. 
Imagine yourself at a cheese festival, indulging in creamy goat cheese, pungent blue cheese, and everything in between. Or picture yourself feasting on regional specialties at a food festival, with the aroma of freshly baked bread, roasted meats, and sweet pastries filling the air. And let's not forget about music. The Centre Val de Loire has a rich musical heritage, and throughout the year, the region comes alive with the sounds of jazz, classical folk, and everything in between. From intimate concerts in historic settings to large-scale music festivals, attracting international artists, there's something for every musical palette. Now, let's talk about something that's near and dear to my heart, food. And trust me, folks, the Centre Val de Loire does not disappoint in the culinary department. This region is a foodie's paradise, where fresh local ingredients are transformed into dishes that are as pleasing to the palate as they are to the eye. Prepare yourself for a symphony of flavours, from the earthy richness of goat cheese to the delicate sweetness of local honey, from the succulent tenderness of roasted meats to the flaky perfection of a freshly baked tart tatine. Speaking of tart tatine, this upside down apple tart, caramelized to perfection, is practically a regional icon. Legend has it that this culinary masterpiece was created by accident at the Hotel Tatin in the late 19th century. Whether it was a stroke of genius or a happy accident, we can all agree that the tart tatin is a testament to the culinary ingenuity of the Santa Val de Loire, but the culinary delights don't stop there. The Loire Valley is also renowned for its roulettes, a rich and flavorful pâté made from slow-cooked pork, duck or rabbit. Well, folks, there you have it. A glimpse into the magic of the Centre Val de Loire, from its fairy tale castles and sun-drenched vineyards to its vibrant cities and warm hospitality, this region has captured our hearts, and we hope it's captured yours too. If you enjoyed this virtual journey through the heart of France, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel inspiration. And be sure to let us know in the comments which attraction you're most excited to visit. Until next time, happy travels, au revoir.